Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of Prime News and today I'm actually going to be covering two different blog posts, both revolving around Wyoming. Uh, one is going to be on Yellowstone and also the heavy transports that are going to be part of the Wyoming DLC and the other one being the Cruising Wyoming event. Now of course both of these blog posts will be down in the description below. Uh, unfortunately the reason why there's two in one in this episode is because I was busy the last few days and I wasn't able to actually cover the Big in Wyoming plus Yellowstone blog post that they released a few days ago but most definitely I'm going to be covering it today and why don't we start with that so a lot of the screenshots you're going to be seeing on screen right now are from the Yellowstone blog post I have to say it looks absolutely amazing and I am very very happy SES Software decided to include it in the DLC for those who maybe didn't see the blog post or didn't know about some of the behind the scenes they actually admitted to saying that the initial intentions with Wyoming DLC was not to actually have Yellowstone National Park in the game because in real life transports can't get into the park unless if they have exclusive access and permissions but luckily after the community was really looking forward to seeing the Yellowstone National Park in the game and, and all this speculation and stuff SES Software decided to spend the extra few weeks doing some development on the Yellowstone Park and there we go we can now visit it or at least get up nice and close to the park and it's almost like you're delivering something into the park for maintenance or something like that that's how SES Software in the blog post kind of explained how their mentality is on it now but i have to say the screenshots look truly stunning and i am so so happy that they decided to put it in i think a lot of us are and i am so looking forward to being able to drive into yellowstone national park and around this beautiful area and of course when it comes to the heavy hauls uh, we have three new routes for the wyoming dlc so if you own the oversized cargo or heavy haul dlcs it will automatically be updated so first route is between riverton and jackson second one is between laramie in Rollins and the third one is between Casper and Gillette. And of course, on to the Cruising Wyoming event. So as always, when it comes to these community events, you have to have a World of Trucks account. So make sure that is connected to your profile in American Truck Simulator. And to complete your personal goal and contribute to the community goal, uh, you have to use either the external contracts or the external market. So when a player completes a delivery to or from each of the 10 Wyoming cities, they will achieve their personal goal. But keep in mind, all of the jobs have to be at least least 100 miles long or 161 kilometers each just in case you're using kilometers in American Truck Simulator. So once you complete your personal goal, you will be rewarded with a Wyoming bison themed American Truck Simulator paint job. And so that will come in as a steam inventory item and you can claim that in your World of Trucks account. Whenever the community ends up driving 80 million miles, which that may sound like a lot, but I know the best community ever can definitely crush this goal. We have done that in the past and so that should not be an issue. And if you've completed your personal goal, whenever the community goal is met, you will get a special bison ornament steam inventory item as well. So of course, this event will conclude on Sunday, the 7th of November at midnight UTC. Uh, but that is definitely a long time to be able to try and get all your deliveries done. That is two months after the release. So that should be plenty. I know sometimes they've done in the past only one month and then they've extended it for an extra month. So I like that they've just gone right out the gate doing two months. And who knows, they may extend it if people need it when it comes to in November, but I have a feeling that will be just the end because they'll be prepping for their Christmas event, most likely. So thanks again for watching. I am so excited to be able to uh, check out Wyoming. I will be obviously getting that tomorrow whenever it launches. And I am so, so excited uh, for Wyoming. And I think a lot of us are. And it will be nice to be able to do this community event and start working on it, of course, in our new international LT as well, just because... I have to. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.